<laughs> okay, it is a freaking shambles here again. I gotta straighten up a little bit. I just want to go in and finish this super modulator up. Uh, two times fourteen forty sixes. Put preamp in it. Preamp works. Put a uh, single sideband delay works. And uh, another reason you can tell it works is when you key up. It'll hold the button. It'll hold the transmit light also. And I've used it on single side man, so it's fine. Uh, that light wasn't even hooked up, so I just put a blue one in it. Um, nothing special at all. You know, just uh, throw it together. Works pretty good though. I mean, really, all in all. But the one thing I wanted to get down to is I know people say it all the time you know sometimes I will put a, uh, a cap on a 1446 you really don't have to but I am on dummy load and let me show you the reason why I do it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you the reflect right here then I'm going to solder this uh, 390 on it. Audio, audio, audio. Okay. Hold on, I'm going to solder this 390 on it real quick. Now just hold on now. <laughs> I got my darn irons up. Uh, Got my irons uh, cut off. I thought I was done for a day, but evidently not, huh? I guess I can do it like this, but I can't hold. I can't hold the. Uh, I cannot hold the uh, camera, the capacitor, and all that at one time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and solder it in and show you the difference. Even though you have a 1446 on the. Uh, on the input tin. Um, I do not have, it is not attenuated in any kind of way at all. So, uh, I guess if I put a 100 ohm resistor in it, that might help too, but then I'm cutting back on drive and I'm going to kill like, some output. So, I prefer not to if I don't have to. I even do this on some single 1446s. People got, oh, you don't have to do it. They want to get out there and they want to talk like they know everything. You know? Well, I already know you don't have to. I don't even know why people even have to get out there and say anything. But uh, anyway. Okie dokie. Here's the input tune now. I soldered it on there. Right there. 390. Here's the input tune now. Oh, let me turn it on. Oh, it is on. Oh, okay. Turn the power supply on. Audio. 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 Going down now. Audio. 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 Even on the radio. We are, we are on a dummy load. 14 volts. One watt in. Audio. Audio. And that's why they call them super modulators. <laughs> but as you see, uh, I mean, each is on. You know, you want to attenuate? I don't know, I ain't going to attenuate. But now I have the input tune not going up, but going down. Audio, 
Adi, Adi. So instead of going up above a half a watt, it's uh right there's a half a watt mark. It's coming down instead of where it was going up. It's coming down, and so that's why I do that. Each their own. I got this thing upside down. Here we go. I might have been upside down. I don't know. But anyway, all right. The variable does work. Let me turn it all the way back real quick. Audio, 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 audio. That's how good the variable works. Audio, audio. And it is 150 on variable in right here. Audio, audio. And we'll turn it all the way up. Audio. Audio. Okay, so that's it. You got something stupid to say about it? Go ahead. I don't care. Hit the dislike button too. I don't care. You don't like the way it looks? I don't care. <laughs> Y'all take care of 73s. Oh, alley cat. I went on him and finished it up. <laughs> In case y'all later, I'm gone.